Hi, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a wee demonstration of a quick, easy, full body stretch um, that won't take too long and that you can do any time of the day and um, just keep you moving during lockdown. So the first thing we're going to do is position our feet shoulder width apart, hands on our hips and we're going to go all the way up to the ceiling for our heads and down to the floor. And then back up to the ceiling, down to the floor. Do you want to keep the bottom half of your body nice and tight and straight? And then we're going to go side to side. Good. Okay, we're going to get our shoulders up to our ears and back down, all the way up again and down. And then we're going to roll them backwards. Good. And then forwards. So again, keeping your legs nice and straight, your arms as straight as you can. Okay, we're going to get our arms, so we're going to stretch our arms right round. You're wanting the inner elbow to touch your kind of ear as you go, so as tight as to your ear as you can. And then if you want to add in our legs to make it a wee bit trickier, we're going to go up on our toes like this. Okay, whenever we reach the top. Good, so again, try and remember not to let your heel, uh, your ankles roll out like this. Okay, so pull them right in. Good, and then we'll hold up for five, four, three, two, one. And you need to squeeze all of your legs as you go. So we'll go forward this time. Good. Okay, and we'll hold it again for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, so you should be able to feel that up in your calves. We're going to go um, legs apart in our straddle, one arm up to our ear. Um, so you want again the inner elbow or the outer, no the inner elbow, sorry, right up to your ear, hand on your hip. We're going to go all the way over to one side. So you want to get your um, body in a straight line as you can. Okay, try not to be stretching away from yourself. You won't get the full um, optimal of the stretch. Okay, and then we're stretching up again. And then we're going to go over to one side. Good. So again, as well, keeping your hips nice and boxed in front of you. Okay, so keeping them facing that way. So this time we're going to stretch up. We're going to put two hands in front. We're going to go to a tabletop just like this. Okay, so we're going to try and keep our back as flat as we can and our knees nice and straight. Good, and then we're going to take our arms all the way down, try and get our hands flat onto the floor, keeping our knees nice and straight. And then in a wee bit if we can, and then right back if we can as well. If you can just get your fingertips, that's great. Okay, remember these knees, keep them nice and square, uh, squat, squeezed. Okay, so this time we're going to stretch back up. So we're going to get two arms at our ears this time, and we're going to go all the way to one side. That's it, stretching and up. And we'll go into the middle, try and hold it for five, flat as you can, and then straight into the opposite side. Good job. Okay, we're going to jump our feet together. We're going to go into our pike fold. So stretching up tall, we're going to go all the way down. Trying to get our hands again flat on the floor with our knees nice and straight. Good. If you can, try and get your nose right into your knees of how far you can go. And if you're quite bendy, your arms as far back as you can as well. Okay, now we're going to go on to our <laughs> butterflies, so our feet together. So we're bouncing our legs as much as we can. If you can, try and push your legs down. Just do it within your own ability. Don't hurt yourself, don't force yourself right down. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch up high. We're going to get our back as flat as we can and stretch up as we can. And we're going to try and go all the way forward as much as you can. Okay, so if you can only get to here in your back straight, that's absolutely fine. Just try and hold it for 10. What you don't want to be doing is going all the way down like this. Okay, that's not going to do anything for you. So you want to get your back stretched and straight as you possibly can and all the way down. And then we can hold it for 5 to 10 seconds. So we'll just hold it for 5 Good. Okay, so the aim of that one is to get your tummy right down or your nose right down, okay, as much as you can. Okay, another one we're going to do, we're going to clasp our hands together at the back. I'll turn around this way. Okay, and we're going to try and get our nose right down and go all the way forward and get our um, fingers to touch the floor if you can. That's crazy bendy. So just do wee pit pulses if you can, just to stretch your shoulders out. Good. Alrighty. Good job. Give them a wee shake after it. It's quite a stiff one. Okay, after this one we're going to do our uh, straddle stretches, so up like this, nice straight back again. We want our knees to up to the ceiling, um, our toes nice and pointed if you can, try and push your knees right to the floor and that will pop your heels off the floor. Okay, it's up to you if you want to make it a bit trickier for yourself, if you're quite bendy. 
And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go all the way over to one side, so hands on each side, try and get our tummy right down, okay? So watch this leg, don't let it come in like this, okay? Try and keep it out to the side and your knee up to the ceiling. And then we're going to stretch up again and we'll go to the other side. Good, try and get your nose right down if you can, keeping that other leg nice and straight. Then we're going to stretch up and we're going to try and go into Japanas. So Japanas are whenever you go right onto the floor and you get your tummy right down onto the floor. So if you can't go all the way down, that's fine. We'll just start with our elbows. Okay, again, focusing us on our knees and our ankles, keeping them up to the ceiling. So our elbows onto the floor. Then your aim is to get your nose onto the floor or your tummy onto the floor or just walk out as far as you possibly can without bending your legs like this, okay? So if this is how far you can go, that's great. So just hold it for as long as you can. Alrighty. Okay, next one we're going to do is our pipe fold. So legs together, arms up high, and we're going to fold all the way forward as much as you can. If that's easy and you can get right down, what we're going to do is put our hands underneath our ankles, lift them up like this, and then go all the way forward again, okay? Or hands at your, the palm, the soles of your feet, sorry, and then pull up and try and get your head right down, okay? So as much as you can, and we'll hold it there again for five. Good. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch our back. So we're going to go into our seal stretch. So for this one, we want your hand shoulder width apart. You want to try and get your um, hips onto the floor as much as you can. Your feet scale at the back and your knees scale at the back. So you're pushing it right up. Try and get your head back as far as you can. Nice and stretched. That's it. So if you put your feet together, you're getting more of a stretch than they would be apart. But if it's too tricky, just keep them apart. That's fine. Just do it to your own pace. And then push right back, we're trying to get our armpits onto the floor. Good, so your bottom goes up a wee bit high, keep your chin up, looking right in front of you. Good, and then forward one more time. Okay, so again, um, hips to the floor as much as you can, feet together, looking right back. If you can, look right back, see if you can get your toes, touch your head, just like that. And then we'll stretch back out one more time, just to get, you stretch your back one way, just make sure you stretch it the opposite way. Good. Okay, one more one we're going to do is we're going to stretch our shoulders again. So this one, you're going to get your hands as close as you can. Don't put them together though, just as close as you can. And you're going to slide your bum far away and then move your fingers forward and try and get as far back as you can. If that's quite easy, put your legs up and then you can go into a straddle and push, push down. Good. That one's quite tricky, it's quite sore on your elbows, so just take that one quite easy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is our splits, so that'll be the last one we do. So our splits, we're going to put one foot in front, so we'll start with our right leg. So what you want to do is you want your leg at a kind of 90 degree angle, you don't want it to be all like this. So you don't want your knee over your toe, so push your foot as far away as you can. Chest up as high as you can, hands onto your front leg, and we're going to push forward, okay? So keeping your chest up, your hips nice and boxed the way that your foot is facing. So don't have your foot turn into the side right directly in front of you in parallel with your knee and then push it forward. If that's easy, just do wee pulses and that'll help you and stretch out a wee bit more. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do our front leg straight, bring our knee in a wee bit closer, hands at our ankles and we're going to lean as far forward as we can. Okay, so again, make sure you're not twisting your hips, keep them nice and boxed all the way forward as much as you can. Good. and then we're going to do two straight legs so you want your weight kind of to be pushed onto the back leg to begin with and then leaning all the way down so you want a um, flat back foot as well so kind of turn that one out a wee bit and then your front foot is facing forwards and you want to get your body all the way over your front leg trying to get your leg as straight as you possibly can and hold it hands flat on the floor if you can as well good and then what we'll do is just do the exact same with the other leg. So we'll just go through this one a bit quicker. So again, foot out as far as you can, pushing forward as much as you can. And we'll do three wee pulses. Good job. And then straight front leg, all the way over. You should feel it coming up the back of your calf. Good. And then two straight legs again. Good, keeping your head in as well, at your ears. 
um, at your shoulder, sorry. Good. And then you can go into splits if you want to be extra bendy. So that was just a wee quick, um, didn't take too long, maybe nine minutes or so. Full body stretch, it'll keep you going throughout lockdown.